All right, everyone, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Today we have Chris. Chris, what's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you for making some time for us. And, man, tell us, man, what do you drive? I drive this uh, 97 Honda Prelude. Okay, 97. How long have you had it for? I've had it for 10 years, going on 11 years. 10 years, going on 11 years. And how did you pick it up? Why, why, why this car? I love the body style. The lines are amazing. I think it's a timeless design. Um, little did I know that, uh, you know, I'm going to have... I'm gonna do all these mods to it and how difficult it is to find parts and the lack of aftermarket support. But at the end of the day, I'm still happy I made this decision. I've met tons of great people through it, especially uh, Gus right here. Liar. Um, <laughs> You'll get your 20 bucks afterwards, okay? <laughs> yeah. But no, I still love the body style. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's a good looking car, even stock. Um, People who are, uh, you know, kind of averse to getting one of these, you guys are definitely sleeping on this chassis because it's it's a great car all around. Mm -hmm. And some of, them, I mean, they come with H22, so that's that's a plus, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's good. It's good amount of power, uh, you know, good amount of torque, but the chassis is heavy, so it's you know I think that kind of contributes to the lack of aftermarket support, but it's still it's still like a head turner even even with this you know stock body and and stock mods and stuff. Cool. What is one thing that you don't like about this car? Oh man, honestly, probably the stock hood is the heaviest hood I've ever, I've ever uh, <laughs> had to use or like open. So um, one of the th first things I did was after this uh, Saibon carbon fiber hood. Uh, that was probably like I think the worst thing about it. That's it. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Like I'm. That's I'm not pretty, a bad thing. You love this car, then. I'm pretty low maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the hood. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So tell us what do you got going on in the front, man. The front, I have um, a Wings West front lip paired with a uh, ARC uh, winglets, mm -hmm. and I have uh, canards on. Um, I have a late model honeycomb front grille that's not found on a '97. Usually, it's a uh, you know late the later model, the MMC. Like I said earlier, the side bunk carbon fiber hood, depot. Uh, black house headlights okay and i just put some hids in um so it's you know a little bit brighter at night yeah they look good got the, the black house uh look for the headlights and right. it completely makes a difference in the car yeah i like the whole black theme like it looks a little bit sleeker um with this bright as red wheels yeah it's sleeker okay <laughs> that, 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 came, that came a lot okay, later okay, man that came a lot later okay yeah but, so just you know very very aggressive looking yeah and um also i have like uh the jdm OEM uh, fog lights and then some aftermarket clear uh, clear blinkers to, to match so it's all you know all nice and clear in the front yeah it's nice man I like I like the scheme that you're going with it's just uh, clear black house aggressive looking right kind of just you know simple and sleek yeah um, these fenders are massive they, they are <laughs> like I'm like damn like it reminds me of the S2000. Do you think the S2000 got inspired by this or the other way around? <laughs> uh, this one came out first, so. I don't know. This is kind of like the black sheep of the Honda family. You know, it, like the the late models didn't really last too long on the market, but you know, it's it's definitely like I like I was telling you, it's it's a good, nice design. Tell us a little bit about your wheel tire setup and suspension. Uh, all right, so that actually took a lot of time to kind of dial in. Um, People who've been following me in this car for a while, then they know I, I had like a few looks. The first one was with, with the Gold's E28s. It's a little bit more conservative, a little bit more street style. Um, but now I'm running uh, T37s. Got to stick to the you know Volk Racing family. Mm -hmm. uh, right now these are 17 by nine and a half plus 22, and I'm running uh, you know Toyota tires, Crocs Sport Plus. They're uh, 225, 45, 17. Um, they, they're not the most, uh, you know, like stretched out tire, but it's, I didn't want to go for a fully stretched look anyway. So just, just enough to clear, uh, you know, fenders, fenders mm -hmm. and have it like drivable. But these are great tires. Uh, it's a great company with makes great products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what kind of suspension do you have? I am running Tain Flex Master. Nice. It's a, it's old discontinued suspension, but it's, you know, it's top of the line at the time. I love it. Um, a lot of people give me shit for not going bags, but no. you know, I, I, I still am a firm believer in coilovers. You know, it's reliable. It's been tested and true. Uh, it's, you know, I, I wouldn't, unless someone, you know, full sponsorship for bags, <laughs> but otherwise, you know, I'm sticking to coilovers. Huh? Uh, rotors and brakes. 
Oh man, I get I get a lot of uh, questions about this. Uh, I'm running um, Project Moo 4x4 uh, calipers in the front, um, custom brackets. I'm running a uh, Soptech uh, two-piece aero rotors. Um, it's it was a lot of research and a lot of time and money to R and D the bracket and, and you know get everything to fit perfectly. Like uh, one of the pet peeves I have is when people run like a giant rotor with like a with like a caliper that doesn't completely cover the rotor surface. But as you can see, this is you know it's it's a perfect fit. The the engineer I worked with to create this bracket and make it fit, he did a great job. It's money well spent. And um, this is one of the, my favorite parts about the car. This one is um, the Mugen style side skirts. I've I've tried looking for the real ones for so long, and it's just so hard to find. So I I went with Mugen style side skirts. It's paired with uh, carbon creations. Uh, Splitters. Yeah, carbon fiber splitter. Oh. Um, you know, just so that the arrow kind of flows. You know, I don't want the front to be too aggressive without the sides and the rear matching. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, uh, in my opinion, it's a good look. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it, it flows, man. It's beautiful. And then if we make our way back to the to the rear, what do we got going on? The rear, um, I'm running a squared setup for, for wheels because I'm a firm believer that, you know, front wheel drive, square setup. Um, but I'm running EBC pads in the rear. Uh, let's see. And then the whole rear, I have the Type S uh, deck lid spoiler. Um, I removed the amber lens in the rear tail light. It's like small things, you know. Make it clear, right? Yeah, clear, especially yeah. Uh, when I had this car in college, you know, I'm looking for all the cheap free mods, right? <laughs> um, I have a custom, uh, custom fitted diffuser made by uh, my buddies at Forbidden USA. They make a lot of uh, S2000 uh, carbon heart tops, so those guys, you know, set aside some time to help me get this to fit. It's a little, a little, a little dirty, let yeah. me guess. It's always the same thing people say. Freaking liars. All right, Chris, tell us, man, what do you got going on in the interior? Uh, besides, like, you know, some grass and stuff on the floor mats, <laughs> um, these are uh, DC5 uh, Recaros paired with uh, bride rails for my seat. Um, I have a work spell hub paired with a work spell and Jay's racing collaboration and quick release with the seven star vertex wheel. Um, type R red stage shift boot with the uh, spoon sports shift knob. I uh, got a double din I got a long time ago when I was young and dumb. I spent a lot of money on it. Now they're super cheap and a lot better mm -hmm. than the ones I have. They've been there. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's what you get for being on the cutting edge, right? Um, I have the OE optional wood trim on the switches and the center console. A lot of people don't like the wood. Everyone tries off for the, the carbon, but I don't know. It's just the fake wood grain really calls to me. <laughs> um, this, I have like the JDM power folding mirrors where the car is off, it, you know. But they actually are yeah, functional? Wow. They are functional. Cool. Um, in kinda. the back, you can kind of see auto power, uh, Roll bar. Okay. I got it power coded uh, by my buddy uh, DPK JP a while back. He did a great job. He's a cool guy. Um, and uh, short shifter, anything like that? Oh yeah, thank you. I got a uh, P spec short shifter. Uh, it's been discontinued, and it's one of those guys that he really like um, believed in the free the community and created that shifter. It's it's one of the best ones, and I'm, I'm glad I was able to get one before it got discontinued. Mm. And then, uh, you don't see this, but I have a M Tech uh, shift springs. He actually used my car for the R&D oh, wow. for this car. So you know, he's, Mike's a great guy, and he, um, uh, I, was, I was glad I was able to help him create that product. So if, if there's a Prelude guy watching this, uh, look up uh, M Tech uh, shifter springs. It you know, makes, a, makes a pretty good difference. These are the JDM um, preloaded side door door sills. Yeah. They're uh, you know, if you just open a regular you know stock one, you're not gonna see these. I uh, I probably overpaid a lot for these, but I just like the extra bling when I when I open my door. This is probably the area that I have yet to really dig into. Um, it's it's on my it's on my to do list, but you know life happens. You know you got other priorities, but 
here it is. A lot of people haven't seen it yet. It's pretty, it's pretty dirty, but um, I got the Koyo upgraded uh, radiator with the matching cap. I have a Mish Mishimoto fan shroud that pairs with it. It fits pretty nice. Um, Samco hoses in their, uh, you know, trademark blue. Um, Optima battery. Uh, you, some of your older Prelude guys can probably see some, uh, some of these classic parts like the DC uh, sports plug cover and the battery tie down. You don't see this in the rear, but I also have the rear tie bar. I used to have the strut bar front and rear set, but I sold those to a guy in Canada and when I upgraded to the spoon ones. So I have the spoon sports strut bars front and rear. AM V2 uh, intake. Um, after a lot of research, they say that this this is the intake that you want to make the most you know most noticeable power. Uh, I have a a Mugen uh, header that probably is like one of the hardest pieces to find uh, when I was looking. Um, and uh, I got my valve cover powder coated mag blue, and I threw a ITR you know chrome. Uh, oil cap on cool. and then uh have these hello horns and you know just some basic uh i have some ngk parts spark plugs wires but i have some plans for this car like uh you know as you know you know life happens but i still have some parts just laying around my garage what do you want to do with it oh uh, man so so many plans you know <laughs> um hopefully one day like when i you know kind of get more settled down Sell it and buy a Civic? <laughs> uh, maybe. No, uh, no, the, maybe. The FK8, no, man. It. No, no, keep this. This one's badass. Yeah. Are you Are you thinking of staying with the H series, building it, NA, a boost? Oh, man. So, I'm stick to the H. I, you know, I think everything on this car kind of came, came together for a reason. So, hopefully I can eventually pull the motor, you know, paint the, repaint the bay black, you know, body match it. Uh, I have, I already have like a mil spec harness at home that I'm waiting to go on. I have like an ARC induction box to go in, um, you know, like new mounts, but I just want to clean up the wiring, relocate some stuff, um, and just kind of clean it up, you know, like I want to be able to just show my bay and it'll look as nice as the, the exterior. Okay. Is there any future plans and any shout outs? Uh, future plans, um, hopefully I can, uh, Clean up my bay a bit, you know, redo it so it's like nice, uh, nice like the rest of the car. Um, besides that, just maintenance, keep it up. You know, I want to keep this car for as long as I can. It's, you know, it's, it doesn't cost much, you know, to just do the maintenance. You know, it's easier to do maintenance than uh, than to like Fake stuff. repairs in the end. Yeah. Um, shout outs, um, just friends and family. Uh, you know, my family for like letting me you know, use their garage forever. You know, all my parts are everywhere. They all have always been pretty supportive of uh, of my hobbies. And especially like this car, they're like, you're, you're rooting it, in, but they, they never stop me from doing it. A lot of trial and error. And it helped me like really grow. Uh, friends, um, guys at Toyo, uh, great, great company, great people, great products. Um, it's JDMO and Team Legacy. Those guys really like, Help me, you know, bring bring my car to where it is now. And there's a great group of guys to kind of like hang out with, go to car shows with, great quality builds, and um, just great quality quality guys too. Cool. Good friends, like I still talk to all these guys today. Uh, Chronicles, uh, Joey's been he's been taking pictures of this car for a while now. I'm sure he's tired of it. People are probably like wondering why it's still on his <laughs> site sometimes, but he's a cool guy too. Um, Island Motorsports, they're not. They don't have a physical shop anymore, but those guys, those were that was like the first place I took my car to to get all this aftermarket stuff, and they've they're cool. I still talk to the owner. She lives like three streets down from me, um, so she's she's so cool. Five Six Two Workshop, you know Chad <laughs> and Eric. Shout out to you guys. Uh, Chad recently helped me put a new power steering pump in this thing, and he knows that was a bitch. So <laughs> thanks for uh, helping me out. That was like a two three day project. Wait, did you say Chad's a bitch? Or no. Was, oh, okay, working doing, working on the yeah, car. Okay. Yeah, working on the car is a bitch. I know. I heard it. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. Chad, Chad's all right. He's he, he's not bad, man. I was just kidding. I was just messing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's, go ahead. He's okay. My bad. Um. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're good. Uh, shout out to Regina Mastermind. He's been cool to work with. 
He's the one who uh, I talked to you about redoing these wheels in red. He did a great job. Uh, Fender Defender and James, shout out to you for uh, doing the Fender and for doing the TSX. Um, All right, well, Chris, dude, thank you so much. Thanks, I man. appreciate the time, man. Uh, pleasure talking to you. You're a great energy guy. And um, yeah, cannot dude. wait for the future plans, man, because your car is already really clean. So it's it just is now a matter of fact that you're just being picky. But you know, looking forward for the for the progress. And uh, again, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, man. If it's rough, you feel free to like cut stuff out, man. Because you know, it's a uh, I'm not a great like you know camera guy or guy on camera. I'm sorry, recording. You know that. Right? Oh shit! All right. Let me just back out. <laughs> I was expecting a thank you or a, yeah, no problem, man. Like, but no, I guess now I'm recording. Now I now have to show this footage. Oh no, man, this is the worst part. Be real. Be real. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just I'm gonna have to show all this, man. You're just uh, pushing your limits. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks for taking the time to come out and you know check out my my car. It's it's really cool. Not a lot of people like want to really know about it. No. Uh, future plans. Hopefully, I can kind of. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just excited, man. So like, I almost got you. I was like, then it cuts off. My bad.